So it's been a while since we last did a reaction like this. We're gonna be reacting to Five Nights at Freddy's Twisted Series Episode 4. A Five Nights at Freddy's series by Secret Four Studios. I'm gonna leave a link to that channel down below in the description along with my previous reactions if you haven't seen those before because this is all part of the same story so make sure you check out those videos before you watch this one. Anyways, before we start, leave a like right now for more FNAF content on the channel and make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next episode because there's at least like I think two more episodes left. So let's get straight into it right now. Where did okay. we leave us? Remember to proceed with caution. Okay. Know what kind of danger awaits us. All right, now I remember they were doing some kind of a uh, police thing in a, a, a Freddy Fazbear's theme park. Wait, I don't remember any of this happening though. So that's Freddy Fazbear. It looks like he just woke up. And th those are dead people. I know what dead people look like. Those are definitely dead people. Hey, wait, is this a flashback? I think this might be a flashback, actually. What's happening? Freddy does not look like he knows what he's doing. It looks like he just got a soul. Like he just became living. Wait, there's cops behind him? Why? Oh. You should not have done that. I feel like you probably should not have done that. That's only gonna agitate him. Agitate? Agitate him. Wait, is this a theme park or is that a house? What's the deal? Wonder what the deal is going to be. Uh, are these guys just gonna keep pointing their guns and not shoot? I feel like if they want to shoot, they should, you know, shoot. Oh, there we go. Hey, I spoke too soon. They are shooting. It looks like they're missing. Look like... <laughs> Ooh, they have Stormtroopers aim. Oh, no. He, he just got hit in the butt. Poor Freddy. Why is he running away? He looks pretty bulletproof. Like, they hit him a couple of times and doesn't look like it did any damage at all. So yeah, they're definitely still in the theme park. How many bullets do they have? Are they not gonna save the kid? I'm so confused. So whose soul is in Freddy? Right, whose right soul? Go around. Uh oh. Is he going there all by himself? Did they just split up? Are they stupid? They work for the police. They should know better than to split up in this situation. They should have watched at least two horror movies before they got in this situation. Never split up. That's a dumb, dumb plan. Also, I'm going to be real honest with you. It's been a while since I saw the previous episode. So, uh, I don't know if I sh I'm supposed to know this, this little girl. I'm also not sure if I'm supposed to know what's up with Freddy. I mean, it's literally been months since I reacted to the previous video. But hey, if you also don't know what the hell's going on. Go check out the previous videos first. Once again, they're gonna be down below in the description. Unless I forget about them, which in that case, my bad. Wait, why is she going after the animatronic? Little girl, uh, you should probably run home. I wonder why do you hide from them. Purple guy. They are the one who should be scared of you, not the opposite. He is kinda spitting facts. I am not your enemy. He is spitting facts. At least for now. He should not be afraid of the cops. The cops should be afraid but of him. That's they true. Are. Allow me to give you a small advice. Instead of hiding, you should give them a fight. Um, probably not. Otherwise, you might end like an old friend of mine. <gasps> oh this no. This is what they do with your kind. Trust me, they are the real threat. So Freddy isn't even evil. Purple guy and turns him evil. Here with only one goal. By lying to him. To kill all of you. And they will not stop. Unless someone will decide to fight them back. And that someone can be. Is he lying, guys? I'm actually not sure. You don't remember who you are. Or your name. As I thought, that always happens to the newcomers, but there is a chance. 
that we might restore all that you have lost. Okay, guys, do you think purple guy, this dude, is telling the truth? Or do you think he's lying? Let me know down below in the comment section what you think right now. Personally, I feel like um he's probably lying. He has ulterior motives. He wants to, I don't know, take over the world or something using the animatronics. So obviously, he's just gonna say whatever he has to say to the animatronics to make them join his side. As you can see, Freddy, he was scared. He didn't know what was happening. If the cops talked to him calmly without shooting at him first, he probably would have been a pretty cool guy. At least I think so. Yet, before we do that, we must deal with your pursuers. Kill them. Oh no. And when you do that, find me. And I will be glad to help you. Never trust a guy My in a suit friend. with nice hair and glowing eyes. That's all you need to know. Don't trust anybody who looks like that. Where Nobody. Are you hiding? Do you really want to know where he's hiding? Well, he just stopped hiding. He's coming after you. Yep. Wait, what just happened? Did he just try to slap him? Yeah. You should have brought some explosives with you, buddy. Is this a fight? Did this guy really just punch a hunk of metal? That probably hurt him more than it hurt the animatronic. He probably broke every single one of his fingers punching him like that. Yep. I bet that hurt. Oh jeez. Alright then. Go ahead. Finish this. You didn't give up like that? I don't have anything else to live for. You know you could run, right? Please don't hurt him. I know you are not a bad person. Just please don't do it. Okay, so who is this girl and why is she in the middle of a police sting operation? Like I think I missed something somewhere. Or are they going to explain it in the future? But if I did miss something, please let me know down below what I missed. Please explain this to me if you know what's up. It's all a big misunderstanding. He thought that you were planning to hurt me. And that's why he attacked you. But we both know that you are the only person here. Where are this kid's parents? You can to protect me. A true friend who gives me hope and confidence. Oh, okay, you just had to mess it up, didn't you? Please don't attack him. You got everything wrong. Why would this guy even try to attack the animatronic at this point? He's emptied two magazines into its body without even doing any damage. He's shot him a bunch of times with that revolver without doing any damage. And he broke all his fingers punching him without doing any damage to the animatronic. So I feel like at this point, you should just realize that you don't stand a chance. You need a different job. And uh, you should not be here at all. You should just be at home watching Netflix. So this guy is just super stubborn. You should just listen to me. I would never get in this situation. He is not your enemy. Let me tell you what really happened. A true story. So there's a flashback? There was once a little girl who always dreamed to visit this amusement park. And finally her dream came true. How happy she was. But then something happened. What the happened? Emergency sirens started screaming and everyone was asked to proceed to the safe shelter. I was told that a hurricane was approaching, but as soon as everyone reached the shelter and safe doors were closed, a strange person appeared on the balcony. Wait, when did this happen? His eyes were glowing with purple collar. He didn't say anything. He just looked at us with an evil smile. Then suddenly, lights went off and out of the ground those things came out pure darkness screams panic i was scared and all alone i uh, one question uh where are this kid's parents should she not be at home with her parents watching tv why is she here once again in the middle of a sting operation why the hell are there even cops in this amusement park i'm so confused i have so many questions and i know i can just keep watching to have those questions answered but i want those answers right now i can't wait that nightmare but then i noticed the blink of the flashlight somebody grabbed my hand and pulled me out of that nightmare that was him 
He was leading a group of people to the exit, but one of those things saw us and started the chase. I... I can't remember how long we ran. One boy fell down and... We... We couldn't do anything. Why is she back here? Things straight away attacked I still remember his screams. Eventually, we managed to reach a shelter where you found us. But sadly, those things found us first. Bravely, with no fear, he tried to protect us. What happened after, I can't remember. When I opened my eyes, I saw him. And then you showed up. What? Wait, 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 wait. So this whole thing where the amusement park was in a tornado and stuff, and the purple guy took over. That was today? I thought it was like something that happened a hundred years ago or something. Whoa, hold on. Now I'm even more confused. I need I need a minute to take this in, guys. I guess you can use this moment to leave a like if you haven't already, or else you'll be as confused as me. So leave a like. Alright, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good. I'm still confused. But I've accepted my confusion at this point. That is what really happened. But he, I am confident, is the only friend I have and whom I can trust. So please, don't hurt him anymore. I am confused. Why, why does he look at us like that? Is there something wrong with him? Or with me? What? <sighs> oh no. I've become one of them as well. Wait. This means, in the end, we didn't manage to escape. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. I was not expecting that. Now that was a pretty good <laughs> twist. That was a pretty good twist. Did you guys expect that to happen? Let me know down below in the comment section because that got me. I was not expecting her to be an animatronic as well. But it does make complete sense though. It makes complete sense. That's why she couldn't remember. Whoa. Okay. Okay. I'm no longer confused. I understand everything now. That's amazing. Shout out Secret Force Studios for that one. Once again, go subscribe to them. Link is down below. And also leave a like if you think this twist was amazing as well. Okay. Whoa. So this is what happened. Aha. Uh -huh. So he was a security guard. Freddy Fazbear was a security guard. And he what saved shall them. I do now? <sighs> Thank you. If he still tries to shoot him, he's just dumb. Side. And I know that you will not abandon me. You can count on me as well. Maybe the first impression about me was not the best one. But trust me, I am not a bad person. And I'll do all I can to protect you. Thank you. We sure will need help. As for you, big guy, well, I have to admit, I was wrong about you, and I've rushed with my judgments. Hope you can forgive me. All right, but now, shouldn't the... Okay, okay. So, obviously, the police officer now realizes what's up with the animatronics. The people that died, their souls go into the animatronics, or they somehow get transformed into animatronics. Shouldn't this be information that he has to share with, uh, I don't know, the people who sent him here? Like, the government? I feel like this is pretty important stuff to know. In my opinion, at least. But anyways, let's just see what he what he does. But on another hand, now we know that you are a good fighter. And that might come in handy, considering our enemy. The person you've mentioned, the one with purple eyes. That is William Afton. He is responsible for this nightmare and many other evil crimes. But fear not. That is why we are here to stop him. Who are we? Together, we will make it happen. Why is the now army we not here? To find Fiona and others too. What the hell was that? Oh no, it's that. What? What is that? Is that a dinosaur? Don't worry. Whatever that thing is, I bet me and the big guy will be able to take care of it. Right, big guy? That's what I thought. <laughs> You're right. Together, we'll be able to fight it back. Now, I'd be running at this point. I want no business with whatever that is. That's the one you're scared of? No, not him. I'm 
scared of her. <laughs> oh, that is creepy. That looks like a human. That does not look like an animatronic. What? That looks like an actual human. Yeah, that tree branch is not gonna help. Ah, I think he's dead. At least I have a good feeling he's dead. All right, let's show them that it's payback time. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Oh no, it's a. Of course, it's a cliffhanger. Of course, it's a cliffhanger. It was getting too exciting. That was the perfect moment for a cliffhanger like this. All right, guys. So obviously, I want to know what happens next. Pretty sure you guys want to know what happens next. So if you guys want to find out what happens next, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Also leave a like as well if you enjoyed this one. We want at least, I don't know, like 10,000 likes on this video and I'll, 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 I'll upload the next episode or something like that. Anyways, if you don't want to see other videos by me, check out the ones on your screen by clicking here or here. Once again, huge shout out to Secret Fro Studios for all these amazing videos and for giving me permission to react to them and i guess hopefully i will see all of you next time dark signing out